Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. You're listening to the smartest man in talk radio. You're going to be listening to one of the smartest people that you probably, and you know who this guy is. <laughs> It's me. He's Jim Blassingame. I am smart. I am smart. S-M-R-T. I mean S-M-A-R-R-T. The Small Business Advocate. Welcome back. 34 after the hour. Thank you for being part of my day. Glad to be with you, especially when I get a chance to reintroduce you to our good friend, Chuck Martin, who's been a member of our Brain Trust now coming up on seven years as a great member of our Brain Trust. He has has helped us in so many ways over the years, but uh, more recently as our top mobile expert on the Brain Trust. He's the author of the new book, The Third Screen, and he's been traveling the world, finding out what's going on out there from a mobile standpoint. And uh, he's our good friend, Chuck Martin. Welcome back to the show. Hey, good to be here, Jim. How are you? Doing great. It's always a pleasure to have you back. You just got back from... China and from Colombia. Uh, yeah. Tell us about uh, those two. Tell us about those two trips. What did you find when you got there? How did how, how were things over there? Well, in in South America, I, I was meeting with the heads of banks throughout Latin America. Yeah. And we were we were talking about mobile and what they should be doing, and they were actually there just for mobile. So yeah. to give you an idea of how important mobile really is, yeah. They they wanted to know what what's going on in the mobile universe, and what's interesting is of the of all the areas in Latin America, there are some that are that are ahead, some that are they're not ahead. So you've got, for example, Brazil and Colombia are are totally wired, as it will, right. as it were. And then then other other countries are really not. So it's, yeah. it, it, it's really kind of interesting in terms of the, the market. So what they have to do is they basically have to do different things based on their market, which is very much like small businesses in the U.S. Right. It's kind of, it's it's market it's market based. Mm-hmm. Um, and we we saw that. Uh, uh, and when you, when you look at mobile globally, for example, 97, in 97 countries around the world, uh, cell phone penetration exceeds 100% of the entire population. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's, that's just primarily because they don't have good landlines. That's one of the reasons why, why uh, cell phones caught on so quickly in Europe and, and especially Scandinavia is because, and, and slower in the United States is because we had good landline service. They didn't. Uh, that, that's exactly right. And there are a lot of people now who, uh, uh, in different countries, they're, they're getting web access or internet access by mobile only, and they've never had they've never had access before. They've never owned a PC or gone online before. Their first their first experience with that is with a, with a smartphone. Yeah, and, and they're, they're getting basically access to the world through a, a mobile device. A, a magic so wand in their hand. That, that, that's exactly right. And, and, and the, the phones, the smartphones, for example, they're, and Android phones, they're, they're going to be dropping in price by about 50% in the next year. So it, it all of a sudden becomes much more uh, practical, right. if you will, to, to get a mobile device if you have, haven't mm-hmm. had one. What, so in, in, the, what about in, China? in Latin America, what, you find found, out, what, did, what did you find out in China? Uh, China is, a, is, a, is very, actually very similar to Latin America. They have, in, in Latin America, there are two main markets of the, of the hundreds of markets. Uh, in terms of of, of countries and and uh, the provinces that are part of the of Latin America, uh, China is the same thing. Uh, Shanghai and Beijing are the two main markets. Then there are all these other markets that just aren't as big. Mm-hmm. And what that means is, for both markets, the the businesses have to deal with two different kinds of audiences or customer sets. There's the one that's extremely wired, and, and they're They've got iPhones. I went to the, the, the Apple store in, uh, in Shanghai, and it was unbelievable. I mean, it was like waiting, like jam-packed with people. Uh-huh. Because in, in China, the iPhone is a real status symbol. Mm-hmm. And, and they don't, they're not subsidized by carriers. So an, an iPhone in, in, um, in China costs $950 wow. U.S. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that's how you basically determine there's the demographic right mm-hmm, there mm-hmm. And, and there are companies uh, luxury brands that are targeting only iPhone and iPad users they're basically ignoring the rest of the market hmm. and, and what's interesting is that's not the majority of, of handsets in the country hmm. it, it's really it's, it's different it's a different makeup of phone so uh, it, it really kind of depends on on what you want to do and if you look at Latin America they've got 
630 million mobile connections in China. They just hit uh, literally a, a week or two ago. They hit a billion mobile connections. Wow. Um, yeah, but in in Latin America, 20 countries account for 98 percent of all connections. So it it, it it basically depends on which market you're Think looking for. Think about what this is going to do to the growth of the middle class in those on, on those underdeveloped countries. Those developing countries. Think about think about how this kind of access to information is going to help people raise their standard of living, raise their get, educate themselves, and become more competitive. Think about that. Oh, it, it, it's going to be incredible. Um, and, and then there, there's another market that 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 you don't uh, that you don't need to do deal with smartphones because they don't really they don't have smartphones. Right. Um, and and you're, if you look at the handsets in in China, for example, well, sure. give the U.S. first. Chuck, hold, on, hold on to that. Hold on to that thought. I want to talk about the U.S. when we come back after these messages. Chuck Martin, folks, is with us. His book is called The Third Screen. He's an expert on that. Stay with us. Twenty-two. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.